On today's episode of Moto Cheese. Oh yeah. Front tires on, Bubby. And that rear tire, boy. Oh yeah. Mud. Nothing. Yeet. Yeah, I know this bike is built for the road, but who remembers the old CT90s and the nice small Enduros that you take off-road, like a mini bike? I'll definitely get more use out of this bike with these tires on. The Raptor. Hellcat Raptor. Got the new knobbies. Now you can feel them, but they're not that bad. Took a little bit away in the speed. Now this tire, the rear tire, is a little bit bigger. You can feel these knobbies, that's for sure. I can feel it through my foot pegs now. I don't remember my foot pegs vibrating like that last year. Something's making noise. Huh. It's just something loose. Whoa, big turkey buzzers. Something loose, like a bolt. Guess I better get home. Photo op time. Look at that beauty. Peepers are out. That's a lot of geeses. like it's coming out of the top of the starter thing there. Let's look at a home before something breaks. That was fun while it lasted. Don't break down on me. Never had a Chinese bike break down on me and leave me stranded. I've run out of gas out of my own stupidity a few times, but never had one break down on me where I couldn't make a home. This thing actually takes the bumps up pretty good. Absorbs the bumps pretty good. For little tires and little suspension. Am I worried about that noise? Yeah. Am 
I worried it's gonna blow up? Yeah, I think it'd be all right. It sounds like a nut loose on something. Yeah, I, that thing's gonna be fun in the dirt, that's for sure. Made it home. Drain her out, see if there's any metal shavings or anything in there. That's the oil drain. That's the cam chain tensioner, which I already loosened. So there's a magnet on the oil drain. Yeah, it looks like it's got a little bit of stuff, but I don't think that's crazy ridiculous for a brand new motor. We'll clean it up, put some fresh oil in it. This is the plunger that goes this way up in for the cam tensioner. There's a spring behind it, but of course I dropped the spring in the oil. So I gotta fish that out. Got them both at once. Look at that. Like a pro. So that's it. That's a spring. And that goes up in this way. This goes into there. Oil pressure pushes this and tightens the cam chain. Which is what runs all the way through to the cam gear and back. And there's a little idler here. A little different than the older style Hondas. This is a new improved cam chain tensioner. The old one was actually manual, as you probably saw when I did my little 50. They do make a manual tensioner to kit that you could buy for this, but uh, if these are working right, they're fine. Yeah, let's put it back together. Well, I changed the oil, did everything else, but there's still a rattle. See. Oh yeah. Hmm. That's a weird clutch. Hmm. I guess that's the screen. Gee, I wonder who that could be. That's a way to get the tires over here. Yeah, right. Four eyes is better than two, apparently, because. Yeah, I got three motor mount bolts. You got three motor mount bolts on yours? Yeah. There's two motor mount bolts, and that was loose. And Matt looked underneath here, and you could see the bolts behind this rubber piece. I took the cover off for nothing. It's all right. Now we see what's in there, right? <laughs> At least I didn't rip the gasket. Then I'd be really pissed. I can rip the guard off if I have to. Apparently, it snapped. Coming. That's definitely why it's vibrating. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's that thing's been bad. vibrating for a while. I can't believe it snapped. It had to be loose. It probably snapped and then, I mean, you can see it's been vibrating on it. All right, it's all back together with the new engine mount bolt. It. Much better. That's it. Dude, almost had you. Granny shifting, not double clutching like you should.
<laughs> Ask any racer, any real racer. Winning's winning. There's a difference. Fuel injection. Oh, there goes the T-dubs. Yeah, that definitely pulls. Yeah. What do you have? 56. Uh, 57. Yeah. It pulls. Alright. Alright, man. Take it easy. So, the Grom is faster. I mean, I am heavier, but... It ain't that close. But I'm glad it's fixed. This goes to show you the simplest solution is sometimes what it is. And I totally overlooked that. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on motoshees.com. Thanks for watching.